Next up, we have a presentation on financial inclusion and digital tools for SME. What is the role of digitization in financial inclusion? How do we promote digital and innovative SME financing? And what are some of the challenges involved? For this, we are pleased to have with us Mr. Ahmed A. Mansur, Chief Information Officer, Fintech and Blockchain Expert of El Ali Bank of Kuwait and Federation of Egyptian Banks. Thank you very much. Good day, everyone. Uh, my name is Ahmed Mansour. I'm the Chief Information Officer for Ahli Bank of Kuwait, Egypt, and I'm representing today the Federation of Egyptian Banks. We are going to talk about the financial inclusion and the digital tools for our SMEs. Actually, we consider the SMEs as a major driver for job creation, and we are also considered as an economic activity in most of the developed and developing economy. Formal and informal SMEs account for between 60 and 70 percent of the country GDP and 90 percent of all business and provided more than 50 of the percent of the employee worldwide. Critical barriers that we can see that it's actually affecting the SMEs globally considered many things that can affect this like lack of access to finance, information, asymmetry, absence of data usage by bank and the lack of collateral. Many things also can also add, add, uh, add a lot of barriers to the growth of the SMEs globally, which we are should now be tackling in such change. The digital transformation for SMEs is considered now a game changer as it's looking forward to close this gap that's showing up in the finance of SMEs. Digital transformation of SMEs can reduce their operational cost, increase their productivity, which in turn can lead to more transparency and better access to finance. It's also introduced new products and services and enabled the introduction to the market and the segment of that we are looking for. Yet, there is a lot of things that happened during this year, especially the impact of COVID-19 on SMEs with millions of small business being at risk of closing permanently in the because of the persistence while others are suffering massively losing and lying of many of their staff because of this. The situation is actually more in dire in the emerging markets countries and speed is very important to provide the need support during this crisis. Therefore, the use of technology and the digital technologies and the digital transformation to provide to be critical to help the SMEs during this unprecedented time. Digitization, as we see, is a paradigm shift for SMEs financial services. From a holistic view, we can be taking a lot of things into consideration. Digital financial products, digital transformations, and the impact of digital markets enablers such as e-commerce and sharing economy and open banking. These are responsible for provision and responsible for affording their financial products and services through digital channels, having the potential to be a game changer for the SME financial globally. Regarding the women that's actually enabling owned uh, or women owned SMEs, Digital financial services can play an important role in encouraging this informal enterprise to join the formal economy. They are also enabling the women owned SMEs to improve their ability to make business investment and obtain access to finance to run their business. And though they can actually have a growth for their business. And in many cases that we started in the market, we found that this is very important to improve the performance of their business and increase the access to the financing. Yet the key technologies that actually can help in transforming the financial services, as we see, include a lot of things. Big data, artificial intelligence, crowdfunding, biometric data, open APIs, Internet of Things, blockchain, and of course, on top of this, the mobile payment. One of the things also that we cannot forget is the QR code or the quick response code. All these technologies can actually help to improve and to mandate how things can be changed in the SME world. 
Innovations that we see now in the market help develop a new business models and financial products that are helping in addressing the SME finance gap. The digital payment in the main area region catalyst is very actually showing a lot of figures that's important to us to understand. One of this is the large youth population. The young population actually represents 60% of the ages here. Unique mobile subscriptions almost like 70%. The global average is around 66%. The mobile internet penetration in the main area is more than 50%. The high smartphone penetration nearly 60% as of 2020 and expected to grow to 74% by 2025. The rapid adaption also of the e-commerce shows that there, there is a strong growth of the digital payment in the future of the main area. Regarding the digital lending as one of the things, technology make it possible for digitalize different types of credit products and to be able to offer them to SMEs in a faster and more convenient and cheaper way. Using new credit risk models, alternative data sources, and digitized transaction data enable better data collection and credit assessment. Through using a lot of services and providing more data and using online transaction, having online information, providing control, all this can support the digital lending in the SME finance. Yet there is a lot of challenges that face us here. The low digital and financial literacy is one of the things that we have to focus on. The limit of the internet connectivity is also one of the things that's important, the infrastructure that we need to build so that the people can use the digital solutions. The lack of data privacy, digital identity, the protection of data and the cybersecurity is a major thing now. Lack of identity also is a major barrier and challenge and risk when we are talking about the SMEs. The impact of large e-commerce platforms, big data, that, that the companies that working in the technology, the tech firms, they are also a challenge and a risk when we are talking about SMEs. Banks and fintech regulation holders is one that we need the regulators to focus on to make a more enabling environment for the SMEs to work. If we are going to talk about Egypt, which I'm representing today, let me give you a glimpse about what's happening in Egypt during the last couple of the last years. In 2020, the media penetration for Egypt, the way our total population is 100 million and and mobile connections is more than 92 million, giving us 91% of the total population. The internet usage is more than 54 million Egyptian, with a 54% of penetration rate. And active social media is 42 million. This shows us that we have a very high potential market in Egypt when we talk about the youth and we talk about the SMEs. We have a lot of innovators. We have a lot of fintechs, as we call it. The internet consumption has actually increased since last year. After the pandemic, we have seen an increase in the internet usage by 92%, a 45% in the rush hour increasing, and the mobile internet usage increased by 12%. This shows how the pandemic actually have increased the usage of digital solutions and the digital and media solutions into our youth and into our market of the population. In our payment ecosystem, we have more than 14,000 ATM, 130 point of sale with an initiation initiations of the Central Bank of Egypt to increase it to a 1 million point of sale within the next couple of years. We have a 38 million card acceptance, a 6 million prepay card with an increased plan to be 20 million cards by next year. This is shows that the market ecosystem for digital payments in Egypt is actually growing fast and there is a lot of adaptions that needed to be focused on. For the wallets and regarding the electronic wallets, we have more than 13.5 million electronic wallet in Egypt with a transaction rate with 9.9 .9 million. 
This is shows a growth with 17% in wallet opening since last year. And this has actually showed up higher when we started to have more regulations in the market about opening the electronic wallets, availing the AKYC and using the electronic way of identifications for the customers to have the ability to access this even after the pandemic shows up. And for also the financial inclusion, we have seen a lot of initiatives coming out to have more and more awareness for the people about the electronic payments, how much is easy it is, how much secure it is, and how they can gain from it. The Federation of Egyptian Banks have raised a lot of awareness campaigns for the Egyptians to know about the electronic payments. And this is what actually was one of our latest awareness campaigns that we use in the media for the people to understand about how easy and simple and secure to use your mobile wallet, your smartphone wallet, to use it in payments, in governmental payments, and much better than using the regular money. The, National, the, Internet, the Central Bank of Egypt have a lot of initiatives, including the National Payment Council that was actually established in, two, in 2017, the new banking law that was regulated this year, and the allocation of one billion to have adoption of 300,000 point of sale nationwide, the Egyptian National Payment Scheme, MISA, that we have created since 2018, and the facilitator aggregator bank agent law that we can simplify with it, the financial inclusion. There is a lot of things that we need to focus on during the next couple of years. We need more collaboration. We need a collaboration between the financial service provider, the mobile network operators, and the entrepreneurs, the regulators. The Egyptian market actually have a lot of big potential for the financial technology. We have a lot of potential for opening new innovation. We have a lot of youth that actually entering the market of fintechs, the market of digital transformation. We have a very good infrastructure and we still need a lot of things to be applied in the next couple of years. Yet, without this kind of collaboration that we can have between all these parties, I think that it will be a little bit hard to achieve a lot of things in the future. We have to understand that the digital transformation, the digital technology that we are showing up today is all working as an enabler for the financial inclusion. What we are seeking here in Egypt is to increase the bank sector and also increase the financial inclusion, which is the main target for our sector and our financial services providers in Egypt towards the financial and the new next normal. We have to adapt with building a new digital infrastructure. We have to ensure that our country infrastructure is ready to accept such things. And for this, we have a lot of initiatives that was built from the Federation of Banks of Egypt and also by the Central Bank of Egypt and all the other regulators to ensure that this happens. During the last couple of years, we have seen the central bank running out the sandbox to understand what's happening in the market of startups and the fintechs and study the innovations and bend the regulations that need to be changed in the market so we can adapt with the new things that happen. We have seen also an introduction of the fintech, the introduction of the Fintech Innovation Hub that actually can support Fintechs, that actually can support innovators. And this is also for the sake of financial inclusion. What we are looking, focusing on in Egypt now is to focus with the SMEs, how to digitize the solutions for them, how to build a real digital infrastructure for them, how to have a full financial inclusion environment, and how to achieve all the digital transformation aspects that we are looking for. We are going toward the next normal with the steady steps. We are building a very high digital infrastructure for the country. 
And yes, the pandemic has led to an increase of demand for the usage of digitally enabled service by individuals and business and governments. Yet the speed, cost and efficiency of this service largely depend on our country digital infrastructure. So this is it for today. I hope that I could cover uh, some of the things that we are actually doing in Egypt regarding the digital tools for SMEs and financial inclusion. And I hope that it gives you a little bit of statistics about our MENA area and about Egypt in specific. Thank you for, for your time and hope to meet next year in a good health. Thank you. Stay safe.